Hey, it's Jason. This video is all about firearm training for your horse. So whether you're doing cowboy mounted shooting or just want to go hunting off your horse in the woods, this video is designed to get you from this to this. Enjoy. To train a horse for gunfire, start off by using blanks. This is what we use for cowboy mounted shooting. It's a 45 caliber long Colt, packed full of black powder. The black powder throws off a lot of smoke, a lot of good percussion. Excellent, excellent to train your horse for gunfire. So if your horse freaks out if you, you know, when shooting a full load like this, scale it back. Start with the primer only, use a 22. If that's too much, start with a cap gun or just dry fire your pistol, right? I mean, just that sound, that snap, um, is enough to send a lot of horse into motion the first time you do it. So loading your guns for this, you, if you're using a revolver, old cowboy style is load one, skip one, load the following four. By doing that, you close the gate, pull it back, you're sitting on an empty cylinder and the next five are ready for business. But before shooting, make sure you have hearing protection in both for yourself and for your horse. Um, I make my own. Uh, I use a two inch thick sheet of memory foam and I cut these out just with a cylinder that I push through. I can make another video on how I make my own. Um, I like these because they're lightweight and they have a whole lot of friction. It makes it really hard for your horse to shake them out once you get them in and I've had really really good luck with these. Um, if you don't want to make your own, you're just not into that. Um, a lot of shooters use these. Uh, they're made by a company called Palms I think. Um, what they are basically is like a little foam golf ball. I think it's a cat toy. I'm pretty sure it's a cat toy. Um, anyway, they're like 11 bucks and you can get them online if you don't want to make your own. So when you first start getting your horse used to earplugs, they don't like it. They don't like it at all. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to. And as you put this in, see how she starts to lift her head? She's done this a million times and she's still shy when I put things in her ears. So just let your hand slide up and find the ear canal and just slowly 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 insert them in every single time good girl this is good girl gets a good cookie again when you do this always have your forearm up like this in case they throw their head towards you as you're as you're uh, teaching them to accept the earplug and that is beautiful honey thank you so much all right good girl and once again good horses Get good cookies. All right, let's do let's do some shooting. So the idea here is for you to show the horse that you're the leader. Everything is okay. What you're doing is fine. You're out in front of the horse, which boosts their confidence. Every time the gun is fired, you'll notice I give Honey a cookie, and I'm telling her she's a good girl. If there's wind blowing, make sure that the smoke is blowing towards the horse so that all of the senses are triggered right. There's a visual with the gun going off in the smoke. There's the smell of the smoke. There's the sound of the gun. All walking towards it. Carrots, rewards, cookies, pets. However, whatever positive system that you use with your horse. At this point, you're still building confidence, okay? It's a reward system. You're just gonna fire. Yeah. <laughs> cookies. Let them smell the gun while you're feeding them a cookie. They get used to associating the black powder smell, the smell of gunpowder with the cookie, with the treat, with the activity. We're going to shoot while walking. Good girl. Good girl. Lots of cookies. Good girl. Again, letting her smell the gun while she's eating cookies. Associating the smell with all this goodness. Good girl. Yeah. So now that you've gotten your horse used to trusting you around gunfire and not completely freaking out every time you shoot, it's probably okay for you to transition to um, trying to shoot off their back. When you do it, again, start off with dry firing, move to 
primers only or 22 blanks or cap guns, something to that effect before you try something that has a shock wave that comes off of it like a 45 does. The first time you shoot off your horse's back, don't do it where the muzzle blast is gonna be felt by the horse, okay? So go straight at three o'clock, directly off your side, and if not straight off at your shoulder, maybe a little bit up in the air. Again, that ensures that all of the pressure from the gun isn't felt by the horse. So the first one I'll do is just a primer. And again, don't, don't shoot over your horse's head the first time. Don't shoot off their back. Shoot where it's controlled, and you know when the horse goes left or right, it's all controllable by you. Um, very little, well. Nice, good girl, good girl. Good girl. After you get comfortable doing that, feel free to switch it up. Go off the side and off the back. Never off the front. Don't, there's never a reason when you need to go straight over your horse when you fire a gun, okay? So off over here, same thing. Good girl. Still got all these cookies. We have to give her time to chew them down, so that's it.